This video will teach you how to use the form browser in OneChart. The form browser is a documentation review tool that allows staff to look at any ad hoc forms that the patient has. Please note that you will not find provider documentation in this section. For provider charting, you will need to use the documentation list tool, which is covered in a separate video. To open this tool, select the form browser from your menu options. Your viewing pane will change to a new screen where you will be able to see the available forms listed. Each entry will have a date and timestamp and should list what type of form it is. The status of the form will also be included, followed by the author of the form. Please refer to the Resources tab for this module to learn more about what the form status indicators mean. There are a few different settings you can change to review the form data. The first is by choosing the time frame you'd like to see, and the second is to change how the forms are sorted. The date range for the forms currently listed can be found in the gray bar located at the top of the viewing panel. If you'd like to change this time frame, simply right-click on the gray bar and select the search criteria option. A new window will open, allowing you to enter in a specific date and time range or you have the option of selecting the search to only include forms from the current admission date to the present. After entering in your search range, selecting OK will close the window. The forms listed should now include only those you have set your search criteria for. The next setting you can change is the sort order for the forms listed, which is located in the top left-hand corner. Selecting the drop-down caret on the right, will give you several options to choose from, such as sorting by the form type used. After you have located the form you need, you can double-click on it to open the form in read-only mode. You may also right-click on the form to be given additional options to choose from, such as modifying or uncharting a form. Please note that the options listed may not be available to all employees. Selecting the Modify option will allow you to add or correct documentation in a form. Please note that if the form has been signed prior to the modification, an icon showing a paper with a red X on it will be displayed next to the field that was modified. To view the modification details on a form, simply right-click on the modification icon and select View Result Details. This will allow you to see what the modifications were and who had made the changes. If you made any corrections to a form, you will need to explain why the changes were made. To do this, simply right-click on the modification icon and select Comments from the options listed. A new window will open, allowing you to enter in the reason for the changes. Selecting OK will close the window. The modification icon will be updated with a green push pin, similar to the one shown here, after the form has been signed. The push pin indicates that comments have been added. After signing your changes to the form by selecting the green check mark, you will be redirected back to the main form browser viewing panel. If by chance you have found that you have entered a form in the wrong patient's chart, you do have the option to in error the document. You can do this by right clicking on the desired form and then selecting unchart. A new window will open asking you why the document needs to be removed. After signing the form by selecting the green check mark, you should no longer see your form in the form browser list. Please note that any document that was marked in error will still be shown in the documentation list view in the patient's chart. This concludes the video on how to use the form browser tool in OneChart.